Bam. Hi everybody, Joanna here again, the voice of So Up. So what we're gonna do today is make this circle skirt with a bow waistband. And as I always say, um, when I put certain things on Facebook, is that if you want a good outfit, you don't necessarily have to make an entire outfit. Sometimes making a top and a bottom sometimes people see the amateur work so what you do you pair it with something that was professionally made or bought so my mom gave me this piece of fabric it's non-stretch it's a polyester blend and I had this old velvet top here and what I did I did through my clothes and I wanted an accent color so what you do you look at the fabric you have and then you go through your clothes and you look for something like an accent color. So this is a kind of abstract floral. So I wanted the same effect so both pieces will go together. So if you look carefully on my velvet top, which is not in style, but when I'm finished with it, it's going to look so good. Um, there's little pinks and, you know, other things to bring it together. So I just wanted to share that piece of style tip with you. So when you make your skirt and you have a professionally made um, top, it pulls your look even better because we are not all professionals. And sometimes you could see certain things you make. You could see it's an amateur did it. So what you do, you mask it with something really, really nice. Okay? So let's begin. I'm going to put this here for a while. So what you're going to do, you're going to use, I'm going to wear this to church. So I'm going to use the entire length of the fabric this is like 58 inches so it's a normal circle skirt right and you just need one zipper so we're gonna use Okay, it's 30, so it's 60 inches actually. Okay, so just make sure it's even. Alright, so if it's 30 across here, then make sure what you have folded here is also 30. Alright, so 30 is about there. So you'll get a complete square. Now, if you want it shorter, you could do it shorter, but because I'm and when it's a church, I don't want it too short. And what you could do if it comes out too short, you could add, add a nice ribbon to it after. A nice lace ribbon. Right. So we have this here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get, remember my peplum. If you look on this Facebook page for Sew Up, I shared from YouTube how to make a... Um, a circle skirt from using the pie formula so I did that and I you notice I had cut mine open now I did that for a reason because we're gonna put in the zipper we need a little extra room so if I want this two inches bigger just to allow for my zipper space I just pull this two inches bigger take my tape and I measure the two inch here Okay, two inches and I fold and basically this is what I want to get I want you to see this it's kind of dark today right use your leatherette I keep saying use leatherette you see how strong it is okay so you're just gonna cut out this part here And this is going to be a waist. Okay. And we're going to cut from here. And this is going to be a skirt. Okay. So if at all you're unable to average. Like how I'm averaging. You could just measure from the from your waist. You just keep going 30 inches, 30 inches, 30 inches all the time. Okay. 
So this is your circle skirt hair. This is your skirt. Beautiful. This is a longer version as I told you. So what I'm going to do, because I have an 8 inch zip, I'm not going to cut this 8 inches. I'm going to cut it like 7 inches long. So, let me measure this. This is really, really easy to make. Huh? You know, everything I, I try to make things easy and everybody say put a tiny little snip there right, and you cut open just a little part of your skirt all right so you we could put this aside and we'll use this when we're ready to sew so that's one side so for your waistband if you notice You have fabric remaining, right? And because of the how you cut your circle skirt, if you look carefully, you'll see like the beginning of a bow already. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna cut off part of it. We're gonna shape our own bow. So what we're we gonna do? We're gonna shape our own bow. So, gonna cut this off. It's already in the shape of a bow. And what we want we want so we can do it like here. Mm -hmm. It's a real kind of abstract Thing. so it's not necessary that it looks like a bow but when you tie it you're gonna see the bow effect that we want so then you place the bow here and you try and you make the exact outline of this part here again okay so you're gonna need to cut off part Okay. and then we it has to cut the exact same measurement and eh? no seam allowance for this you can make your waistband thicker or thinner and all that is your preference okay but when we tie when we put it on our waist and we do the tying the bow is gonna really really pop out right so this is this part here okay we're not gonna waste any fabric eh? now because my waist is a, is a lot bigger than this to get the bow tie effect I'm gonna okay so my waist is like 38 okay so we could use this all right so what I'm going to do is go on the machine and I'm going to set up for us to put the band together first and then we'll attach the band to your skirt. So I'll be back. Okay, so we're back. So what we're going to do, we're going to make the casing of your waistband first before we attach it onto the skirt. So, because my waist is 38, 19 would be where I want to make a marking from. So, what I did, I fold, I put right sides together and I have a straight side and I have a curved side. If you watch carefully, you'll see the difference. There's a curved side and there's a straight side. There's a reason why I cut it like this is because we want our waistband the side for our waistband to be very straight because we're amateurs we don't want to be making any mistakes on our waistband and then when we put it on we're seeing puckers and stuff so from my straight side let me bring this out here i'm gonna measure from i folded it over in half and i'm gonna measure 19 inches because that will be half of my waist on one side 
So my 19 inch would fall here. And I make a little snip, you know me. I always, I don't mark with pins. I mark with snips. So I make a triangular snip right there. I take my time and I also make one snip, okay? Just make sure that all four pieces of fabric have that little snip so you'll know where to stop, okay? So we're going to start from your snip working backwards okay so you're gonna start you're gonna start here right where you made this snip and we're gonna do this casing okay so you're gonna go as close to the end as you possibly can and we're gonna start stitching around I think my stitch is too tight so I'll change the stitch Alright. Okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna kiss the band. Okay. So the top of your waist band is the only part will be stitched right through. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna stitch on the curved part. Right. And I'm gonna case this right around. Okay. It's better for me, it's better that my videos are longer. And you could actually see what I'm doing. Then I'm trying to do it too short, and then sometimes you miss things. This one. So we almost finished casing. I remember I'm sitting here and I'm remembering when my mom used to show me how to sew she would have made me base this entire thing together and then stitch it I used to have to base these things and it wasn't fair and I'm sure if she comes now and she's seeing me sewing this thing without basing it first I'm sure she's just gonna scream back and look out for where you left your snipper look out for where you left because you want to be right back at that snip this is it we're gonna stop at the snip my scissors okay Okay, and what you do, you cut off any excess fabric because this is going to go on the inside. The excess fabric that we have, we cut it off. I also want to thank you for your feedback on what you do. You chip the ends. Thank you, too. You buy the lines. You chip the ends here. Because when we fold it inside out, we want it to move on the inside. So you just take your time and you chip the ends. Okay, especially the corners where you want to where you want to fold it inside out. It's not necessary. You do the whole thing. You do it on both sides. And you just trim any extra fabric that you don't need right? so this is a part of it so what you do take your time you push your hand in and 
take the point of your scissors. Okay. I can pull it out. Okay. Reason why I tell you, take the point of your scissors because you want that point of your bow here. That's why I tell you, trip the ends. So then you take, you get the point of your scissors again. And you. I find making this bow band was a really, really fun way of making a waistband instead of just your plain old waistband. You just add a little flair to it. And if you could see, our band is coming together quite nice. Okay, so we do the same thing. Pull this hair. We get the point of the scissors. And you insert it where you know the point of your bow is going to be. Pull it out. Take your hand and shove it. The same thing with this side. And you look for the point of your scissors again. You want your points. You want all of your points. As pointy as you could get it. Okay? Right, so that's just this part. Okay, so what I'm going to do now. If you want, you don't have to do this. Let's put on the waistband first and then we'll... Anyways, let's put in our zipper. So, I am no no good at putting in zippers all the time. And I've been trying to put in zipper for years. Okay, and I didn't want to cut my circle skirt down. I could do that. I could cut this down and I could insert it. Okay, but I really don't, didn't want it to cut down. I want to keep my circle skirt whole. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fold, put your zipper, if you notice, I can't try and explain this for you all in. Okay, so you put in the zipper, face down, on the left side, because this is going to turn inside out, and you're going to put it on the machine. If you want, you could pin it, huh? I'm not going to pin mine, then maybe I should put a pin. Just for you all to see, I'll put one pin, okay, so that it stays in place. Bare edge, huh? you just put it on the bare edge, okay, so that's one pin there. Okay, and you're gonna stitch this. You can use any color thread you want, I just decided to use black, because the lines in the fabric is black. So you have your stuff bare edge. Okay. I think this is too. I think it's better I show you this step by step because before I started off with really quick videos but now I notice it's it's better for some of you to actually see what I'm doing step by step because that's the only way you learn okay so my videos are going to be like more than 20 minutes long but it's all good okay so what you doing you're resting the edge of your presser foot directly over the part that zips and your needle is just gonna barely stitch at the edge here. Take my time. Sometimes I fight with this, you know. I raise up, raise my needle up, and I unzip this part here. And I pray that I still have it on the right line. Put it back bare on your zipper again. got it this time right so what I do I unpin this and I take my zipper part and push it on the 
wrong side and you'll see we're almost done I flipped it inside out and you'll see we're almost done and this other part here it's gonna look kind of it's not gonna look so neat but we're gonna get it done anyway okay so you flip this inside out and remember we catered two extra inches but that's nothing when we when we seam it down it's gonna come back neat okay so for the for the while it's gonna not look so neat so as we flip our zipper inside out we're gonna flip the other end of the fabric directly over the zipping part and you want your presser foot to be back on the on the top of that zipping part there I'm trying to explain it as best as I could I'm really really sorry if you don't understand what I'm saying but you can always look through YouTube videos um, or you could cut it straight down cut cut this line that we made in the beginning straight to the end okay so here goes nothing okay keep make sure your fabric is your full inch over you notice it's a full not a full inch it's a full half inch and you make sure it's touching your zipping part please and you press a foot is on your zipping part okay so that means the needle is not gonna go on your zipper itself it's gonna stay off your zipper quite a bit okay and you go up you could pin this up okay and what i do i raise my needle and i zip unzip it and then i put it back make sure my presser foot is there Got it this time again. Hooray for me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. All right. So then I zip this back up. If you notice where the end of my zipper is, that the waistband is going to cover that. So we did well. We did really, really well. All right. So let's just neaten this part up. See how it looks? It doesn't look neat, but a simple back stitch is going to fix our problems we go across now this is gonna when it, when you iron this out this puckering is gonna move you're not even gonna notice it anymore and as I said if you want a neater stitch than this you're gonna have to search some more videos other tutorials that will help you I am not be all and end all of anything i'm just showing you how i do my stuff all right so my two inch was well accommodated and let's put our band in all right so by now right so right where we made our little snip is where we stopped so that is where we're gonna begin putting in our waistband so we're gonna sandwich if you notice when you peel this apart you're gonna see this seam here and this seam here so we're just gonna sandwich sandwich this the top of here this zipper part here onto this. um okay for the sake of who may not be able to see properly I'll pin the first one okay, I'll pin it because I want you to be able to see okay so we're gonna sandwich the waistband right around we're gonna pin it we're gonna take our time and then we're gonna pin the other side so you're just gonna sandwich it between these two seams here these two lips so put the top of your skirt inside of your waistband all 
And as I always tell you, my pens are really far away from me because I'm always knocking them over. Alright. So basically now it's just a touch. Okay, so now that I have both sides pinned, there's no way I can make a mistake now. No way. So we're gonna go right around. So we're gonna start from the edge of our band. Make sure it's not folded up too much. I always hold the end of my thread here. So I'm gonna just So now we're actually on to the skirt and I'm showing you here again so there's three pieces this lip the lip below and our the top of our skirt and we're gonna go right around the skirt like this and till we go we go right around better just go right around with you all and finish yes all right so let's just go right around make sure the top of your skirt the hem on the top and what is on the bottom is corresponding because you don't wanna you don't want when you end up on top it's all over the place so you take your time nobody is gonna rush you and only because I'm filming it's taking this long I usually I just go on this thing and I just, I just start. This is like 19 inches of fabric to on each side, so it's 38 inches. This is my skirt. It's getting quiet. It's evening now. And a while ago we had some parrots giving me competition so I had to kind of wait before I did the video. Because y'all definitely was not there. Okay. We're almost here. Okay, we just have a little piece again. So you take your time and you go right around. What we do, I end in it here for the while, and 
you continue right around and then you stitch all on top of there and then it's time for us to we can hem the skirt you just do a simple roll hem on your skirt and then we're finished so it's just time for us to do simple thing like a roll hem i can show you what you do what i could do is this a spiral hem so you put your on the button stitch your machine on the button stitch and you take that stitch so when you zigzag stitch like this what you're gonna do you're gonna pass the zigzag again but closer to the fabric and it's gonna come out a spiral so it's like But you have to do the stitch thick as you would do a buttonhole. So when it comes around again, it's gonna start curling up on you when you do your second round. Or if you want, you could do a roll hem where you roll it in as usual. And it's quicker that way, but I'm gonna try um, a spiral stitch. So it's gonna give me this really really cool effect and I'm not gonna lose some inches off of it because I want it as long as possible. So the next time you're gonna see me, you're gonna see me with a skirt on, um, my top, my accessories looking really fabulous and you'll see me in a little while. Okay, so when you put on your skirt, you zip it up and then it's a simple bow you tie do one tie pull it tight as tight as you could get it and then you just do a simple other tie as tight as you could get it and then you pull onto and make yourself a really really neat bow okay the smaller sides on top the larger side below and this is your circle skirt with bow band. Okay everybody, so this is how my skirt came out. And there's the bow in the back. Okay, so you just double tie. And that's your bow. And this skirt has a really nice floater. There's a missus length. It's a calf length skirt. And I did the spiral hem on the bottom so 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 gorgeous so so gorgeous you could take something somebody gave you and make it into something really fabulous so this is joanna saying to be happy and so up